Hello, wine lover. This is Gloria Bassan. You are at Bassan Sailors. Today, in conversations about wine, we have our stellar winemaker, Kian. And the topic today is tannins. Yes, tannins, a very key component when it comes to all wines, but in particular red wines. And I think a lot of people probably want to know where tannins come from. Mm -hmm. And really, where tannins come from, they are actually the components that are in seeds as well as skins for the most part and then there's also tannins in stems but in most winemaking you throw the stems out and you pretty much focus on the berries and when you're making the wine when you're processing the fruit in the winery you are squeezing the juice out and that juice becomes uh, comes into contact with the skins and the seeds and over a period of uh, a few days or maybe even a few weeks during fermentation you gain all of the tannin compounds and you get them stabilized in the resulting wine. Now, is tannin a flavor? Tannin is not a flavor. Tannin is a compound that actually basically is a foundation point of a wine's uh, structure and its ability to age. It's very important to have good tannins and acidity, which we talked about in a previous uh, video, uh, to be able to give a wine its uh, longevity, its ability to age. Yeah, ability to age. So, do we have tannins in white wines? Yes, there are tannins in white wines. They're just not as noticeable because the acidity is so high in white, in white, in white wines, and that there's not a lot of skin contact or even seed contact when it comes to making white wines. Most white wines are produced by squeezing the grapes in a press right when the fruit arrives at the winery and just fermenting the juice. So there is no skin or, or, or seed. Um, seed contact. Now there is some tannin because of the squeezing that happens in the press, that squeezing does extract a little bit of tannin from the skins and the seeds in the white wine, but it's minimal when you compare it to red wines. All the red wines have the same um, amount of tannins, or oh, there are some red wines that have less tannin are less tannic yes, than others. For sure, yeah. The lighter wines like Pinot, Beaujolais is made from the Gamay grape, and even a um, uh, lot of the Rome varieties like Sanso and, uh, and the Grenache, those are all very thin-skinned, very uh, low tannin type of wines. The hardier wines like Syrah, Cabernet, uh, Petit Syrah, even Zinfandel, the skin is much thicker, so there is more tannin uh, compounds on the, in the skins. And of course, with the ski, seed contact that you do during the fermentation process, you extract uh, the, the tannins. One way of extracting more tannins is by actually doing more, what we call cap management in red wines, where you do pump overs or where you do punch downs, where that skin and seed comes into contact with the juice. Mm -hmm. Over, a, or over an extended period of time, whether it's a week or two weeks. And that get, allows you to gain more tannin in your hardier reds. So what about the barrel aging? Does the barrels add some tannins to the, to the wine? For sure, yes. There's definitely tannins in oak. Uh, and uh, all of the barrels that we use at Bazan Cellars is uh, French oak. And uh, all of those uh, barrels, especially brand new, have tannins that they import into the wine. The longer you leave your wine, whether it's a white or a red, in a barrel, a new barrel, you are going to extract tannins yeah. from uh, the barrel as well. But those are more what I call surface tannins. They're, they're tannins that are noticeable when the wine is young, but after a few years of bottle aging, those tannins break down a lot faster than fruit tannin does. That's why Cabernets can age for such a long time, because their fruit tannin is giving the wine that foundation, that, that, that uh, kind of structure. Tannins, it's, it's, um, it's a tactile. It, it, you feel them. You feel because them. It's not a flavor. So yes. you feel them in your mouth. And the way that we feel them is that provokes that like a dryness when you, you drink a uh, red wine. And you feel like your you know, yeah. cheeks are getting in. And depending, you know, some more tannins than the others. But that is the uh, tactile component. Correct, so, yes. Uh, as, as soon as you put a very tannic wine and you swirl it or you taste it, it just sucks out the moisture out of your palate and it seems like your gums are stuck to your lips <laughs> and, and it's kind of got the cotton mouth feel is what a lot of people say. So when, when we talk about balance and acidity and tannins, right, so it's important because acidity provokes the opposite exactly. of tannins that's in salivates. your mouth and yes. you salivate. So 
if you haven't watched our acidity um, video, uh, we are gonna post the, the link on the uh, description box. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting. It always intrigues me a lot how tannins uh, behave in your mouth along with acidity. And when it comes to pair um, wine with, uh, with your meal, tannins basically are gonna interact with fat, but also are gonna interact with salt. Correct. Charcuterie meats are so wonderful when you have them with a red wine or with a Cabernet or a Bordeaux blend because that saltiness that is on those meat is just good out, you know, when, when you add some tannins. And yes. Also the salt in your in your meal, it add any pairing that you will suggest for, for tannic wine. For tannic wines, I would suggest really hearty meals, uh, you know, a nice solid steak uh, would be a great pair, pairing with a very tannic cap. But the key for, for, for us is to also make the tannins balance. We don't want the tannins to overwhelm the fruit or the, or the acidity for that matter in a red wine. You want it all to work in harmony so that it can actually give you a complete experience when it comes to enjoying it with a meal. That's true, yeah. that's true. Well, if you have any questions about um, this topic today, feel free to leave us a comment and please consider subscribing if you find this uh, information valuable and we will see you next one. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.